All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It's time to do another review. Uh, so say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started right here on the Knives Fast channel. This is a knife that was sent in by our friend Tori Casey. Tori, you're awesome. Uh, he's stocked up the Knives Ch Nice Fast channel with some uh, great giveaway items. And, uh, you know, he sent a couple for me to keep too. Um, and just fantastic. Now I'll say, I just had, uh, the drop bear in here not long ago from Kaiser and I loved it. I really did. But this one is my size. This is bigger. Uh, this is much more my kind of thing. I love that drop point blade. Uh, and we got some things to talk about, but this is a fantastic, fantastic knife. The Kaiser Escort, if I didn't say that, you have a drop point blade, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blade with almost a straight back and that drop and then this gorgeous blade again wish it wasn't a shiny black coating wish it was uh black stone wash but that's okay nice nice thin stock look at that all right but let's start with the handle i know i've already gotten ahead of myself uh red ridge light, rich light here this comes uh from tori of course so it was a little smoother tori says and he sanded this one down a little bit Got good grip to it now. Um, it does have a lanyard hole. It does have reversible clip. Uh, this screw is countersunk. This one sticks out a little bit. And of course, you've got your clutch lock or access style lock here. And uh, you have a black loop over clip with a little pinch in here. It comes almost to the tip of the knife, a little bit left. It is sitting on the scales, but it does have... Uh, countersunk screws, typical Kaiser clip. You do have some jimping back here and here. Uh, and this, as you can see, has a very nice chamfer on those scales and it feels wonderful in the hand. Um, very nice. Now you have this grip back here with this nice little locked in choil here. Uh, plenty of room, a little bit left over. You don't really have a place to choke up unless you just come on this flat right here. But be careful of the edge of the blade. Uh, kind of aggressive um, uh, sharpening choil there. You see your plunge, you're clear. You do have a fuller. And one of my biggest disappointments of this knife is that that fuller is not accessible for opening the knife. It is covered on both sides. You cannot get to it. I wish. Now, um, uh, you know, but it opens just fine with the thumb stud. You do have the Kaiser logo on the blade proper, and you do have the Dirk Pinkerton logo and X X uh, the Escort 154 CM is the steel, and I love that this is a Dirk Pinkerton. This is a gorgeous knife, and I love Dirk's designs. Um, now, this is to me just as fidgety as the Drop Bear. You can see, fantastic, and yes, I can. Well, I did it a minute ago. Hold on. Can middle finger flick. It takes a little bit of risk for me, but I'm kind of a noob uh, in that regard. Very, very nice knife. Now, look at that grip, guys. Now, I will tell you, do you feel the clip? I always say this about Kaiser clips. This is my one little nag. The clips are kind of tall, and so it does stick into your hand right about here. Uh, but it's not bad, and it's a big enough knife where most of you might even be past, kind of past that pinch point. Um, the jimping is good, locks you in, but you have a nice place to come on out further if you want to. Feels really nice. Uh, very thin, slicey blade. And as a matter of fact, let's do a little bit of, of course, cardboard cutting. Um, you guys know. Uh, now, this was Tori's Edge, so I'm not sure what all he used this for, but I have not sharpened this yet or stropped it, so um, please understand that that, what you just saw, uh, was already a, a used knife. Uh oh piece of cardboard under Ren there. Ren's going to get ticked. All right, got it. All right, so uh, really nice. Let's do our comparisons, and then we'll do some uh some specs. Now this is an older knife. Uh, it is available at White Mountain Knives right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. I, w I looked over at Blue Creek. He doesn't have them right now, but I bet he will. And don't forget, at both of those places, you can use code knives fast. And at Blue Creek, there is a link that helps the channel out. So there's your Rat 1 and your Rat 2. Now Rat 1 is a little bit bigger in the blade, a little bit bigger in the handle, but not much. Rat 2 is a little bit smaller in both of those regards. So 
fantastic size knife for me. Now, let's talk about what that size actually is. We'll put it up on the knife stand so you can see it better. There you go. Um, so again, these are available for $109 at White Mountain Knives right now. And uh, you can save 10% with code KNIVESFAST at checkout. Now, I don't, I don't get any of that. I don't get an affiliation payment back from him. It just helps you guys out. And he sends me along knives at my request for me to review, which is awesome. This is 7.79 inches, so just under 8. 3.31 inch blade. Uh, 0.11 blade thickness of 154 in that plain edge. Drop point blade, the handle is 4.48, so plenty of room for me. And it weighs 3.78, so almost exactly, let's see, 3.7, yeah, all, almost exactly that ounce per inch. Just a little, uh, a little, uh, uh over that, but it's it's very close. $109 again. There is a premium version too, if you want to look at that. Um, I'll, I'll link uh, the drop air, um, excuse me, the Escort at um, Blue Creek Knives. And I'll also leave the link for, for um, excuse me, at White Mountain Knives. And I'll also link leave the link for Blue Creek so that when he gets them back in stock, you guys can check that out. So very, very cool. Thank you so much, Tori, for sending this along. Now I'm going to drop uh, some footage in here on this review. I've been trying to do that from time to time. I'll drop in some uh, some uh, footage of it. Matter of fact, tell you what, we'll end the review uh, here. Uh, we'll do it a little bit different this time. We'll end the review with some nice, uh, or maybe I'll even put some music in there and some nice uh, footage of the knife. So guys, please let me know what you think of this one. Again, I'm doing a little shorter review because it's an older knife. Uh, oh, I forgot, man. Look at that. I forgot about the important stuff almost. So no blade play, no lock rock at all. Um, it is, okay, going to have to look at it off camera. That black blade is, is dead centered. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but there is some nice skeletonization in there uh, for weight relief. And um, lockup is fantastic. Oh, and we didn't really even talk about action, holy cow. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very very smooth. You can see. Look at that. Just drops. Even when I don't give it any wrist, it just drops, and it's very perfect as 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 to that action, in my opinion. A lot of people have said this is kind of a bug out. Uh, you know, with a thicker, hef heftier, a little heftier bug out. And I, yeah, I can see that. It's a little different blade shape. Uh, handle shape is similar. Uh, the scales, you do have the exposed liners here, uh, which obviously the bug out doesn't have liners. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I would choose this over a bug out, but that's just me. Uh, and you guys know, I just prefer a little bit of weight. So there you go. Uh, I will leave uh, some footage here and then we will be done with this review. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.